What's up guys? Welcome to another live text game demonstration. In this video, you're going to get a behind the scenes look into my Tinder, Bumble, and my text game. You're going to see exactly how I message girls, what I say, and more importantly, why I say it so that you can replicate these results and prove your own texting success. All right, so let's start off with my Bumble. And currently, this is probably my favorite app out there. So we open up the Bumble and we see some chick fucking spread eagle. That's not gonna be my thing. So we're gonna go to this and I have a Bumble Plus or whatever. So that shows me that every girl that's already liked on me, which I think is definitely worthwhile to get. It saves you a lot of time. So last time I checked this would have been last night. So, okay, this is kind of low. Usually I get more matches. But so we got this chick. Let's see, let's see. She's got a nice booty, so yeah, we'll put her in the yes section. We got another chick that's gonna be no, and and uh, like a possible maybe sort of I don't know. Uh, we're gonna put her yes. So we got two out of three, which is pretty typical of what I get with Bumble. Typically, 50% of the girls who like me will be chicks who I find attractive as well, and maybe out of those 50, half will be chicks that I'm really excited about. So okay, now let's take a look at what messages we've got in the past day or so. So we had a cute chick and I just completely missed her. So I'm gonna re-engage the conversation. Well, and so she says, I'm curious, how can you reduce someone by speaking Russian if we won't even know what you're saying? Hey Alex, nice to meet you. So she sent me a very, let's just say, you know, invested opener. So here I'm not gonna give her my default response. So if a chick just says hi or something like that, I'll typically just respond with, ah, I was waiting for you to message me, something that's standard. But with this chick, I'm gonna write something custom because something standard will just be like, she'll be like, what the fuck? Like I invested this much and this guy won't invest at all. So I'm gonna say, uh, how can you use someone? I'm gonna say, I have my ways with a winky face. Um, uh, I'm sure you. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. I'm sure you'll grow to love them as well. I'm sure you'll grow to appreciate them. There we go. Right. So typically, when I'm writing a text, uh, basically I'll write it, and then like as I'm writing, I'm like, wait, this will sound better if I do this. If I move this word around, so I'm never in a rush to just hit the send button. So I have my ways. I'm sure you'll grow to appreciate them. So this keeps going the you know the fun flirty vibe that we have going on and also it's just kind of using the we frame like hey like it's I'm already assuming that me and her are going to meet so send moving on so this is a chick we have a conversation going with we're talking about uh my uh, so this is we're, this is actually quite forward she's talking about you know having wine and cuddling in front of a netflix so here i just can move things forward so uh, she says i asked her what part of europe she's from she says she's from france um I'm gonna say, do something, um, I'm gonna say bonjour. Uh, or actually I might say, ah, my favorite. Right, so she'll be like, really, ha ha. And obviously French girls are not my favorite. I mean, I have nothing against them, but yeah. Just like a fun little emotional spike. Ah, my favorite, we're in Russia. Um, so this is gonna be two, two different texts so she doesn't get confused. Um, I was born it admits, right? So here I'm just addressing, giving her logical answer to her logical question. There we go. Now, this is the Bumble thing where you add a question, add answer. Let me just make sure I actually find this girl attractive before I do that. Yeah, she seems kind of cute. She's wearing like a fucking fur jacket. Most random way you've entertained yourself in the past week. Um, so here, uh, well, comma, I'm gonna try to make it like funny and sexual. Uh, hmm. This one. No, that it just doesn't, I was, I'm trying to think of something with like handcuffs, like I'm trying to make it like sexual. Uh, let's just say it involved wine and handcuffs. It's pretty forward. Um, if you want to play it safer, you could say something along. You, know, you could give her a more real answer. But honestly, I like kind of like I like riding that fine line between like ballsy, but without coming off as like just too much. So I'm always flirting with that line. Uh, I might get rid of. Let's just say it involved handcuffs. There we go. That sounds, I think, a little bit better. Flows better. Whenever I can think of a way to simplify what I'm gonna say, I do it. So, got that, moving on. 
Uh, hers was meditating, how exciting. All right, so she sends me one of these. So here I'm gonna just respond with a default opener. Uh, I was waiting for you to message me. And this only works on Bumble to message me. Okay, send that, bam. Let's make sure she's hot. Sometimes, you know, chicks get through the funnel or, you know, when you match with them, they have a good picture. And they, Ooh, she's a cutie, she's got some curves. All right, next. So what's going on here? So this is a good example of a low investment situation. So she sends me a hi, and then I say, I was waiting for you to message me, and I was hoping she would bite on that. And she just gives me ha ha. So I need to uh, I need to get the conversation going here. So um, I, um, I can probably use her pictures maybe. Ooh, she's definitely a hottie. So that kind of explains she's probably got a lot of guys that are hitting her up, or maybe not. She's 5'9", though. That's usually much taller than I go for, but she's hot enough that I'm gonna let it slide. Um, so it says in her profile that she's from another city, so this is gonna make it very easy for me to uh, probably get a conversation going. Are you from here originally? And then she's gonna say, no, I moved from blah, blah, blah. And that can be like, oh, cool, I moved from blah, blah, blah. And I can kind of build rapport based on that. So like, like a good game of chess, I'm always thinking a move or two ahead. Are you from here originally? Watch, she's gonna reply with no, like one word answer. All right, so then we got, uh, okay, so this is another chick who's been uh, kind of being very low investment. So she sent me one of these. I sent her, ah, I was waiting for you to message me. Well, there you go. I say, mm, Brazil, because that's where it's said in her profile. She says, yep. I say, my favorite. She says, yeah, I like Brazil too. So she's being sassy. I call it out, I say, sassy. She gives me one of these. I say, don't worry, that'll go away. Most likely won't. We'll find out soon enough, maybe. Right, so she's, now as a quick side note, these chicks are, the majority of time, they're gonna be a waste of time. It's much better to focus on medium and high investment girls than these low investment girls. But sometimes the low investment girls might be the hottest girls. Like if you look at this chick, well, she's not super stunning, but she does have, looks like she has a nice fat Brazilian booty. So I'm gonna do my best to make it happen. I uh, will find out soon enough, she says maybe, um, hmm, how can I follow this up? You don't, I'm gonna call it out, you don't sound, confident because she's been coming off like like almost she's been portraying herself as almost like the alpha girl here like oh i'm so cool too cool for school um so i need to address that somehow um you don't sound confident that could work um i could say do you always play do you always play hard to get that could be another one but then she might just say yes I think you don't sound confident, it's best. It's a statement instead of a question, which is generally preferred. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. And most hopefully she will say, no, Kama, I just don't know much about you yet. You know, we just met. Hopefully she explains herself and gets some investment, which is usually the goal in these situations. I just really wanna get investment from this girl. Once I do that, I can build on it. So we're gonna send this, moving on. So here we got Chick speaking Spanish to me. Um, Hablo, so I know enough Spanish to just give her the basics. So she's asking me, do I speak Spanish? How's it going? Hablo un poco. Un poquito. No, okay, I'm gonna phrase this differently. Un poquito. Uh, fucking autocorrect. I wanna figure out right away if she speaks Spanish or not. Hablas inglés. There we go. So this is just, an, I need to figure this information out before this gets going, because if she speaks no, almost no English, I'm not gonna wanna, you know, hit and be hitting her up in English and she's just not gonna understand anything, you know, she's gonna have to be using on Google Translate, which has its limitations. Now, let's go to the girls who have not been responding. So let's see, that's cool. This is only yesterday, so we need to give it more time. Uh, we need to give these more time. Okay, how, when was this? This was also yesterday. I think we need to give this more time. Just imagine me shirtless and bubbles. Yeah, we're gonna need to give this more time. Uh, let's go down a little bit. Okay, so this is a chick who I try to re-engage and she's not responding, so it's probably dead. Uh, okay, this chick. So here we got a little role play going. She's like, hey, I'm like, oh, I was waiting for you to message me. Two questions for you. Where are we traveling to and what wine are we drinking on the plane? I say, good questions. How about Fiji while drinking a nice Riesling? She says, sounds good to me. I'm in, perfect. Bring that red lingerie I like. So keeping the uh, role play going, which said the assless ones. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip off that. 
unless, 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 unless those are gone, unless those are, uh, unless you lost those, right? So yeah, that sounds better. And then I probably should uh, send an emoji to kind of soften. Nah, this works. Unless you lost them. Like a disappointed emoji would be best. Probably one of these. Because she's sending me a lot of emojis. So I'm gonna... Yeah, so there we go. Perfect. And basically, the, the reason I'm going to be adding emojis sometimes is just to like soften the vibe of a text, right? So sometimes an emoji can just just you're saying getting the same exact point across but it just slightly alters the vibe so in this situation when i said unless you lost them with one of these it's almost like it's almost like it's more obvious that i'm just being fun and flirty instead of like taking this shit too seriously i know it's just it just softens the vibe which was i felt was necessary in the situation so we got uh this chick i just chose not to respond to i remember she wasn't really my type first time for everything uh so how long has it been? I think this has only been a day, so it might be too early to re-engage. Although I could. Ever called the great state first time for everything. Um, so in her profile, it's pretty clear that she's not from here. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna address that because we need to figure it out. You know, Maybe she's only here for a few days and then I don't wanna wait too long and then she's gone. So I'm gonna say, uh, how long do, are you visiting? Yeah. Are you visiting? Yeah, oh, fucking autocorrect. Are you visiting or living here? Something like that. Oh, actually, it sounds smooth if I say, are you visiting Miami? There we go, kind of flows better. Okay, so what else we got? Um, so this chick just doesn't respond, so for example, you get situations like this, hey, I like your style, she doesn't respond, I can follow it up with, are you always this talkative, right? So that's a really good, you know, uh, follow up in this situation. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, what else we got? And I'll say I don't like to, so we got some, we're gonna ignore the numbers. Uh, ch -ch -ch, how's your night going? This chick didn't respond. Uh, so here I might say, don't worry, comma, it's not a trick question. I might just say it's not a trick question. Or I could say like that bad, huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna add don't worry because it's kind of it's gonna soften it a little bit. It's not a trick question. There we go. Now let's see. There was some chick who responded to me. I saw. Okay, there we go. So now we got the conversation going. So basically, this is what I was talking about earlier. Like we need to get the conversation going because she's giving me low investment responses, and we accomplished that. Hell no, I'm a first generation immigrant, Ukrainian American, now just American. Okay, so that's something that we have in common. So she's from Ukraine, they speak Russian there. Well, at least most of them do. I'm from Belarus, we speak Russian there. So that's, that gives me something that I can, um, you know, kind of go off of. So I'm gonna say, cool, I'm one of those myself. Cool, I'm from Belarus, we're neighbors. We're, I might say, I could tell her where I'm from or I could say, cool, we're, we're actually neighbors. And then she'd be like, oh, where are you from? So that's the one strategy, cool. You and I, or I could say you, actually. I might wanna add an emoji to that. You have to kind of soften it a little bit. Cool, we're actually neighbors. Yeah, that kind of works. All right. All right, so that was basically a run through of my Bumble. All right, now let's crack into my Tinder. So Tinder is probably my second or third favorite. I would say Hinge is probably second place, but I already finished going through this morning, so Tinder, there's gonna be more stuff. So again, I, last time I checked this was probably last night around like 1 a.m. So it's been like 20, 20 hours. So I got 19 likes. And yeah, I have Tinder Gold, just makes life easier. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we got this chick. She is average, uh, yeah, in the past. Uh, ch -ch -ch. This one looks cute, probably catfish though because she has only one picture and uh, no bio. Well, you know, I might as well find out, right? So I'm gonna tell no on this. Um, yes, it's a definite yes. We got another, ooh, she looks like a cute nerd. Yes, uh, that's gonna be a no. It's gonna be a, huh, she's got a cute dog, but not my type. Let's see what else we got. Uh, not my type. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, she's cute. Not exactly my type. Oh, she's far. She's 1,200 miles away. Now, typically, sometimes when that happens, it just means the girl's out of town or whatever. But given the fact that she's not exactly my type and the fact that she's far away, it's, it's going to be a left swipe. Uh, this one, I can already tell is my type. Oh, she's far. But, you know, she... Well, actually, I don't even know if she's my type. She might be a little too tall for me. Yeah, she's got booty. Uh, but she might be visiting Miami or something like that. So I'm just going to... It takes like two seconds to find out. So, yes. Then we got this one. Uh, definitely my type. Yes. Let's see. Uh, no. Mm. Well, also, keep in mind, with this kind of stuff, with like, you know, swiping, there's no right or wrong. It just comes down to what you're into. Like, for example, me personally, I like shorter girls with big tits and big asses, right? And I like olive skin, right, basically. So I don't like girls who are too, too light or you know, too dark also is not really my thing, obviously. So I like, like somewhere right in the middle, olive skinned, and I like them to be like pretty short, but that's just my type. I know a lot of guys who are like tall, modern looking girls. So again, this just comes down to what you like. Uh, this one's like right on the fence for me. Probably no. Okay, ooh, we got some big tits. That's gonna be a yes. I think so, actually I can't tell. She doesn't have her Instagram link, but eh, she might be a bit too curvy, but I'm gonna just find out her Instagram and then make the determination. So sometimes a chick who you think is very average might be your best bet because if she actually turns out to be hot, the, all the other guys are thinking that she's average and not putting in that much work. So I've had numerous situations where, guy, where a chick has had really bad picks and she looked okay on the fence. And then I'm like, like, oh, let's find out. And then when she sent me a picture, I'm like, holy shit, this chick is a fucking stunner. She just takes horrible picks. So we got another thing, one pick, no bio, very likely a bot, but we can find out. Doesn't hurt to find out. Fail to match, that means she is a bot. Uh, cute, uh, she's verified, but she's very far away. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure out what her situation is. Uh, this one's also cute. Yeah, so that's gonna be a yes. And then I don't think, yeah, not exactly. She's cute, but she's not my type. All right, so, oh, and then another one just popped up. Uh, she looks okay. Not exactly my type either. Uh, I can't really see her body, but okay, we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. And so the cool thing about Tinder also is when you're using Tinder, like the more you use it, the more matches you will get. Like now, is the, now that I'm on Tinder, like the matches gonna start pouring in. So for example, if I checked Tinder like earlier, like this morning, this afternoon, uh, maybe like right after dinner, like the amount of matches I would have had would have been a lot more, right? So, okay, so this, if we're looking at statistics, maybe 50% of the girls, with Tinder it's a little less than Bumble, maybe 30 to 40% of the girls who like me or, you know, uh, met my criteria, let's just say. Okay, so this is the chick that uh, you can't really tell much, so we're gonna try to get her Instagram, uh, but we need to get the conversation going. So we're just gonna go with the default opener here. Hey, Trouble, you're gonna see that I do that a lot. Uh, now, so this chick I already know is my type. So here, and you can tell by her pictures that she's probably pretty DTF. I think she's gonna respond well to the Hey, Trouble opener. She's gonna be like, ooh, I know I'm trouble. So that's gonna work well. Uh, let's see. So this is the one that's far away. So I'm going to just simply say, so cute yet so far. And that will tell me, then she'll respond, I know it's sad or like, well, I'm actually coming to Miami. And then I'm going to make the determination. So, so cute yet so far. Okay. What else we got? Uh, so this is another one I need more information on. Uh, we'll just say, we'll go, we'll, we'll try a different, hey, potential lover. So it's another default opener that I use. All right, so this one I know is my type. Uh, I love, I like, I like her the way she looks. So I'm gonna go with this default opener. Hey, because she also seems like a kind of chick who, like, I don't know, who just like has a unique style. And with those girls, this opener works the best. Hey, I like your style with one of these. All right, let's see. We got Derek. Uh, so again, same thing. So cute, yet so far. Hit her with that. Oh, didn't send. Tinder be buggy. All right. Ooh, I like those fucking nerd glasses. So this is gonna be a hey trouble. And then when she responds, I'm gonna say, I like your sexy nerd glasses. All right. And we got her. Uh, hmm. I definitely like her style. Uh, I'm gonna say, 
I could go with the Hey, I like your style opener. That could work here. Well, I could go with Hey Trouble. I'm gonna lean it towards Hey Trouble because she has this trouble making vibe. All right, and then last one, the probably the chick that's a bot. I'm just gonna say, are you real? Or I could say, here, this is another way to find out. Love your bio, right? Because she has no bio. Okay, we've gone through, oh wait, I think there's one more chick. Uh, she only has one, she's far away, so that's unmatch. Okay, so then we've done, and the, pe periodically you wanna do like some house cleaning and just clean out all the extra matches, but whatever. I uh, just sometimes get too lazy for that. Now that we did address these, let's go into all the girls who responded who I was talking to yesterday. So we got, hey Trouble, you're the one up before you. You look good, slamming beats on that grill. Yes, daddy's cooking up a storm. Hey there, daddy. Okay, so good, she's buying into the frame. Ah, she lives, because she took like a fucking month to respond. Barely, lol. How are, you? how are you, Alex? Okay, so, hmm, how are we gonna say this? I'm good. Um, just finished a big workout. We got, with this one, we gotta get her off off Tinder pretty fast because uh, she it took her a month to respond at one point, so she might not just be checking the app of, open, but you know, I, I'm not gonna just say, give me your number because you don't check it often. Like it's, it might be, that might scare her off by you too much too fast. So I'm gonna just say, looking nice and fit for our date. And then she'll probably say, oh, when is this date? And then I can kind of move it forward from there. Nice and fit for our date. Big workout, looking nice and fit for our date, done. Okay, what else we got? Oh, good. So this one, this is a chick I've been talking to for a bit, and she says, would you like to meet up someday? So she's actually doing my job for me. And how did this happen? So she's asking me to uh, a bunch of like, you know, get to know you questions, which is a good sign. She says, what do you do for fun? Do you read? What's, what sort of music you like? Whatever you feel like sharing. So I say, I like travel, exercise, read, various kinky activities. The list goes on. It's hard to get to know someone over text though, right? So I'm basically just addressing, hey, like we're not really gonna get to get to know each other like that well over text. And she bites on that. Would you like to meet up someday? I say, yes. Uh, do you like wine? And then I'm gonna do the wine close here. All right, next. Moving through. Okay, so here she's asking me my, about my job. I help uh, people improve their sex and dating lives through therapy. Um, I have my ways. Oh, I have my ways. I have my ways. I might just make it more. I have my ways. Mm, I already used an emoji and she's not really using many, so I'm gonna actually not use that. Oh, uh, and then I might change the topic, right? So cut the thread. So she's asking me, you know, what do I do and then how I do it? I have my ways. Uh, or I could move it forward. Uh, it, uh, I'll tell you all about it over a bottle of wine. There we go. So that moves it forward. Yeah, so I like that. All right, next, what do we have? Lorena, same name as my ex. Hey, Trouble, haha, me, that's you. Okay, so this is a standard response. A lot of guys struggle with this stuff for some reason, like, oh my God, how do I respond to this? Like, yes, super straightforward. Yes. Oh, I know, I'm gonna say, huh, I was writing it with the quotes. Oh, I know I'm trouble. Hopefully you are too. Too, at least. A bit, so we got, oh, I know I'm trouble, hopefully you're too, at least a bit. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna finish going through all of these that I need to respond to before I then go back to the one that just responded. So this chick, uh, that's not my type, so unmatch. Uh, okay, so this chick is asking me, uh, okay, about Spanish, oh Jesus, but she's quite hot, so. Well, actually, she looks pretty decent. So, okay, so she's asking me, oh, nice, hablas espanol. Um, uh, see, um, I must say, yes, I can seduce you with my gringo espanol. Um, puedo. Puedo. Seductre. Actually, fuck this. I'm just going to use Google Translate. So, yeah, nowadays the shit is easy. Yes, comma, I can seduce you. There we go. 
Okay, perfect. And that's going to be a nice little emotional spike. Um, yeah. mm, is this correct? Okay, oh, I need to get rid of the butt. We're just getting into tech technicalities here. All right, there we go. Bam. So really shouldn't be a challenge chatting with chicks who speak a different language. Uh, when a chick doesn't speak English, you just want to simplify your text game a little bit because complexities will get lost in Google Translate. All right. So, hey, trouble, what? So not the best response. Uh, but honestly, it just says, it says I'm a Colombian girl. So it seems like I think the issue is honestly is that she just doesn't speak uh, English that well. Aplas uh, Inglés. So yeah, it's easy to attribute that and think she's just being a brat or whatever low investment, but honestly, the vibe I'm getting is that she just doesn't understand English that well. So she probably took hate trouble, put in Google Translate, and it came out as like something retarded that made no sense in Spanish. So obelisk and glaze, done. All right, and then we got one more. Hey, I like your style, thanks. Okay, what do we do here? Hmm, and I like your titties. Um, we just need to get the conversation going. We need to get her invested. Are you from here originally? That's a, that's a nice conversation starter. You know, I find that question works well because people are you know, always excited about their roots and where they come from, and then you can just kind of bond over that. So are you from here originally? Bam, now let's see what responses we got. So love your bio, thanks. So she is responding. Um, so she's probably not a bot because she's responding to the text. Um, I can tell, I can tell you put a lot of work into it. <laughs> you put a lot of work into it. I can tell you put a lot of work into it. There we go. Uh, okay, looking nice and fit for our day. Bam, she bites on it right away. Ooh, I love these glasses. Um, soon, what, what's your schedule like? There we go. Perfect. I love it when you set a girl up and she just bites on what you say. And then we got, I'll tell you all about, I don't drink. Um, okay, so then we're gonna say, over a bottle, over a, <laughs> over, over a bottle of orange juice then. <laughs> there we go. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting the subscribe button, clicking the bell for notifications. Also, make sure you check out our Instagram at Real Playing Fire. We post a lot of value there, like text game of the day, our best memes, and just a lot of other cool shit that you guys don't want to miss out on. And of course, don't forget to check out Indian P's new release article called The Four Types of Girls That You're Gonna Encounter on Tinder and in Real Life and How to Sexualize with Each One of Them. This thing is fucking epic, so don't miss out on that. We're gonna link everything in the description below. All right, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and until next time.